Hi, Corey. I've just had some really bad news. You're not going to believe this. I just talked to Martin Scorsese. He says he can't direct our next video anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. Martin's out. Quentin Tarantino's out. What are we do? Where do we go from right, here? Hold on. I, I'm on the... Here. I get it right now. Our number one subscriber and a commenter yeah. has agreed that he will indeed direct this that video. That is brilliant news. And he's actually already <laughs> sent over his first direction. Okay. So he's not right. messing around. What are we doing? What are he we doing? is saying... Yeah. Hi Luke, Iris Vision has confirmed to me that there'll be an update today for OCR and all of the other features for the Inspire. All right, that's awesome, Corey. It's time to get inspired. Hi all, welcome back to another Tech Connect. Today we are looking at the Iris Vision Inspire. Now, we're not diving deep into the product because we've done that already. Go ahead and check out a video that's uh, linked up above or down in the description. But today we're focusing on the new features that they've just released. So we're gonna go ahead and call you, call you. Yeah, Did yeah. you hear that noise? I think I, we just got our first instructions through. Uh, you're absolutely right. It looks like our director is telling us what to do here. He's saying, uh, can we do a video on the updated OCR outline and bioptic features and the new Inspire update. Thanks, Luke and Corey. Corey, what the director wants, the director gets. Let's do it. Got it. Places, everybody. So the first new feature to look at in the Iris Vision Inspire is the bioptic mode. This mode is already available in Iris Vision Live, but it has just been added to the Inspire. What this mode is, is basically like an inverted bifocal. So at the top of the screen, we have a rectangular area. Things inside there are magnified, but everywhere else is regular size. And there's actually a target in the middle of your field of view. And so you point that target toward what you want to be magnified, and it will be magnified in that rectangular area at the top of the screen there. Have they given you the opportunity to move that box at all? Yes, they have. So you can go into the menu, you can adjust the position of the box, and so you can kind of bring it lower, or you can actually bring it down to the bottom, more like a regular pair of bifocal glasses if you want. So pretty cool feature. It's nice if you just uh, want to keep the overall context of the scene, but also have things magnified at the same time. Let's move on to the next feature. Our first set of instructions included OCR, so let's make sure we talk about that. I know it's new for the Inspire. Yeah, that's right. It's new for the Inspire. Already was there in Iris Vision Live. If you uh, aren't aware of that device, you can check it out in the video that we already made on that. But now we have it in the Inspire as well. Corey, I think we should give it a try here. Yeah. So what we need to do, it's in the OCR mode already. Now, I'm using the buttons on the headset itself to do this. It's a little awkward to do that, but you can use voice controls also, and uh, there is also also the option to use a remote control, which I've actually already lost, so uh, that's on me. So I'm going to use the controls on the glasses here. We will look at our document. I have an 8.5 by 11 here, and I'm going to press a button, and that will take a picture here. So I'm going to press a button. I have to go down, because that's opened a menu, to take, take picture. picture. I'll press a button to take the picture, and it's going to snap Three, a shot. Now it does count two, down. One. And so we got a countdown there from four, which is really nice because it gives you time to position your document. Once it's taken the picture, it's going to process and then hopefully it's going to read this aloud to us. So let's see uh, whether we get an accurate reading here. Connecting people with vision loss to possibilities. Vision forwards technology and education. It's doing a really good job. Might be hard to hear over the video, but it, it took a bit to start reading, which I'm assuming because it's online versus on the device itself. Not a big deal. Um, super, super accurate, but I'm curious, like what, what controls or navigation options do you have now that you've got this captured image? Yeah, so I think you're definitely right. It, it did take a while, but like you say, very accurate. So that's really nice. And once it starts reading to us, we actually have a bunch of things that we can change uh, more than you would expect, I think. So we can open up a menu and we have a pause play option. So we can go ahead and pause it if we need to do something else. Volume control. Now we are at the maximum volume at the moment. It's still a little quiet, I would say. So that's a downside. But uh, I think maybe you can plug in headphones. I'm not 100%. And that's coming through the headset, correct? Yeah, so the sound's coming through the headset. Uh, we also have a text size option that the words are being displayed in here. Hopefully uh, there will be a demonstration of that on the screen. So you can change the size of those words. We also have a timeline option that allows us to skip backwards and forwards through the text that we have taken a picture. Um, so it's basically almost like a forward wind and a rewind option there. We also have audio speed. We can change the speed of the voice. 
we have a dark view so we can invert so we have a black background with white letters as those are being read aloud and then finally we have a reset view option to reset any settings so it's really quite a fully featured OCR uh, much more than I think you would expect necessarily from a vision enhancement wearable and it seems to work really well let's take a look at the next feature so here we are in the stairwell to take a look at one of the other new modes, which is the outline mode. And what this will do is put bold outlines around objects that you're looking outline at. Dark. There's three different uh, colors we can choose from. A regular color, there is a white and a light dark. View. And either of the, uh, those light. will basically make things stand out because of the bold outlines that it puts. If you imagine looking at a cartoon with the really bold black lines around, that's kind of the effect that we're getting. Uh, you can also adjust the sensitivity, so how kind of sensitive it is to creating those dark lines around objects. Outline color. And you can also change change the thickness of the black line. So again, there's quite a lot of adjustability here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the outline mode to identify the outline of the stairs and then hopefully walk up them safely. So let's outline go. Light. How do you think this uh, video is going so far, Cole? Do you think the director will be happy? Uh, he's tough to please, but I think we're doing okay. Oh, ho hold on. We're getting, we're getting another direction here. Here we go. Here we go. He says, um, you guys could also make your videos a bit more funnier uh, and shorter. Jeez. Oh, uh, funny, funny. Um, why did the chicken cross the road? All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us in this video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification. Wait, Koi. Koi. I know we, we need to make the video shorter, but we yeah. still have a bunch of features to talk about. All right. You're right. Let's do it. <laughs> Places, everybody. Okay, so let's take a look at another of the new features, and this is various different reading color modes. For those of you who are familiar with these types of devices, basically we can change the colors when we're reading for better contrast. So let's take a look now. At the moment, I am in what they call the light view, bit of a stranger name, but this is basically a high contrast black text on a white background. And yeah, you can see that it definitely does make a difference there to the clarity of the text. There are some other views as well and some different colors that we can use. Now, again, I'm going to be using the controls on the headset here, um, but it's a little bit cumbersome to do that, but you can use voice controls or a remote as well. So I'll go ahead and switch over to what they call the dark view here. And you guys will be seeing a simulation of this on the screen to give you an idea. This is a white text on a black background. And uh, it's really quite nice, except when you move your head, it does tend to kind of make the, the words disappear. So you have to keep your head pretty still, uh, but then you do get a nice bright white and a nice dark black. We also have two interesting colors. We have a bright yellow, so we can change everything and make it uh, yellow. yellow. So now this text is black text on a yellow background. And then we also have a green as well. And Reading the green, green. Uh, turns everything green, just like you would expect. So now we have black text on a green background. There is one other really cool feature that we can do, which is a reading line mode that's integrated into these different color modes. So we can have a horizontal bar that is across the screen and inside that bar, things are magnified and we can change the magnification. And that just helps us keep track when we're reading of the specific line that we are currently reading. Sounds kind of like it was those old school bar magnifiers that uh, that you might have seen where just what's inside that bar is magnified. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like, uh, putting a bar magnifier on a sheet of text and it's magnifying that particular line that you are reading, yeah. Uh, in my experience, most individuals seem to like the, uh, the light, what they call the light and dark mode. Yeah. Uh, and you don't typically see somebody, a lot of people using different colors. I'd be really curious why they chose green and yellow. Um, there must be, I wonder, there must be a specific reason. Yeah, I think there's probably data backing it up, but like you, I've never really met anybody who uses those colors. So, hey, you know, uh, if you guys out there are using a CCTV of some sort and you use the green or yellow colors, why don't you put it down in the comments there? Because I would love to know what eye condition you have uh, and, you know, why you're using those colors. Let's move on to check out the next feature. One of the other features we have here, Corey, is the bubble mode. Have you ever heard of the bubble mode before? I've not. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Related to Michael Bublé? Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, it's his, <laughs> his patented mode. Nice. Uh, no, this is actually when Iris Vision first came out with their live device uh, a long time ago. This is one of their unique features. And here it is now in the Inspire. Basically, we have this circular area that they call the bubble. And um, that's, you know, somewhere in your field of view. And inside that bubble, things are magnified. So it's kind of like the bioptic mode, but that was rectangular 
rectangular and this is a circular area. We can change the position of the bubble, we can change the size of the bubble, and we can zoom in and out within the bubble. So for example, Corey, you may not know this, but currently as I am talking to you, I have your face inside the bubble and your face is magnified, so it looks like you have an even larger head than normal. Hey, let me out of this bubble, I can't breathe. Go ahead on set. So that was the Iris Vision Inspire update. Hopefully we have done a good job and our director will be happy. Uh, what do I think about the updates? Well, actually, I think it's really cool. It has taken a little while to get to this point. Uh, when the device first released, it was a little low on features, especially because Iris Vision had the Live, which has got all of these other features as well. Uh, but now they've really improved it. And not only have they added a bunch of features, as you have been able to tell from this video, but they've also added a number of different uh, ways that you can manipulate within those features. So for example, in the reading color mode, we have four different reading colors. We also have the reading line and we can also actually turn a flashlight on and off on the front of the headset too. So each of those modes really does have a lot that you can go in depth with and really uh, make it work the best for you. Do I think this is the best wearable device out there? Well, it's kind of hard to say because everybody's different and it really depends on what your needs are and uh, you know how well it helps you see because ultimately that is going to be the major test. So as with any any wearable. If you can get a demo, then really try to do that because that's going to give you the best idea of whether this uh, headset or any other wearable device is going to be the best one for you. If you like this device, why don't you put it down in the comments or if you like any other device, do that too. Hey, we just got a final word from our director here. Okay. Uh, he is saying, uh, my favorite assistive technology is the Iris Vision Inspire. There you go. So those are uh, big words indeed from our director there. So maybe the Iris Vision Inspire will be your favorite too. Who knows? Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and click that notification bell. Share this video out to anybody who is interested, especially in wearable electronic magnification. Uh, you can also contact us in three different ways. Go ahead and give us a call. 414-615-615. 0103. Shoot us an email, techconnect at vision-forward.org, or you can visit us online, vision-forward.org. Thanks and stay tuned. Corey, I gotta tell you, I'm pleased that we've got through that video. You know, I was a little bit nervous, uh, worried that we weren't gonna please the director. And I think we did an okay job. I, we followed his instructions, that's for sure. But, uh, oh, well, actually, hold on. We're getting one last one. Okay. Well, the video's done, but. Yeah. Um, oh, looking forward to the newest inspired video. Please make more of these. Hey, you know what? We're gonna do exactly that. <laughs>